This online learning video support will cover signing into your SCU account. After registering for an SCU class for the first time, you will need to activate your Google account to gain access to the classes you've enrolled in. There are two ways to enter your account. Both include entering your username and temporary password provided to you to access your Google account. The first part of this series of signing into your Google account is for first-time users of a Google account. The second part of this series of signing into your SU account is for users of a personal or employment Google account. Understanding both processes can be very helpful for you as you sign into your SCU Google account for the first time. To receive the full benefits of Google Classroom, including online security, it is important that you sign into your SDU Google account with your username and password given to you during class registration. After making sure Google Chrome is downloaded to your computer, click on the Google Chrome icon, most likely found at your computer desktop. This will take you to your Google browser. At the Google Browser, you want to make sure no one is signed in at Google. Look at the upper right corner for a small circle to the right of the Google Apps icon. If there is a circle, you will want to log them out. To do this, click on the circle. A drop-down will appear and simply go down and choose Sign Out. From here, you may get this window where you want to go over and choose Continue. From here, you can go up and choose Sign In. You will be provided with the option to use another account. From here, the window will change and it's asking you to put in your email. So what you would put in here is your username which is typically your first name followed by a period, last name, at centigleska.edu. After you type that in, you want to choose Next. The next thing it's going to ask you for your password. You will be given a first time password that you will want to type in Thereafter, it's going to ask you to change that temporary password. Once you type in that password, you want to choose Next. Again, you'll be asked to change that temporary password to a more secure password. And you'll also be asked to add a phone number in case you should completely lose your account in order to retrieve it back again. But the point being is what you want to do is look in the upper right corner now and it should show your initials or something up here in a circle that's going to indicate that you now are logged in to your SGU Google account using your username and password provided you at registration time. Some important advice here. Now, if you have multiple people that use your computer you may choose to log out of your SGU account, again for security reasons. To do that, you want to go up to the icon, and they call that a avatar. So you want to click on your avatar, and you'll get a drop down, and you want to choose sign out. And from here, you are ready to close out of your account by clicking the X in the upper right corner, which will take you back to your desktop. To log back in then, you would use the same process that was shown to you so far. By now you might be thinking, but there is no avatar in my upper right corner to log in to my SGU account. So what you would wanna do in that situation is at your browser, at your Google browser, you want to type in www.google.com and once you type that in you want to click enter by doing so if you look in the upper right corner it's going to say sign in 
So you want to click on sign in and you're going to get the option of use another account. And at the use another account, you want to type in your SDU username given to you at registration time. And once you've typed that in, you want to choose next. And it's going to ask for your password and you were given a temporary password. So you want to type that in. Once you've typed that in, you want to click next. And you can see that I'm logged in. Now what you may get is it's going to ask you to change your password and probably going to ask you for a telephone number to be able to retrieve your account should you have problems accessing it again. But the point being is now that you now you are logged in to your SCU account and you may it may have created an avatar for you which is going to look something like this it's going to be a small circle and it's going to have your initials or some something in there that's going to indicate that it is you and it's your SCU account that you are logged into. Important thing to remember though here too is especially if you have multiple users of your laptop or your computer you want to sign out and so you would click on your avatar and there you would get the drop down and you want to choose sign out. Now to log back in you would do the same process that I showed you in the second part of this video. So for now that you've logged out you want to go ahead and hit the X up here at the top it's going to close the window and it's going to take you back to your desktop. This video assistance signing into your SCU Google account is for first time users of a Google account. If you recall, after registering for an SCU class for the first time, you'll need to activate your Google account to gain access to the classes you've enrolled in. Stay tuned for the second part of this series which is for users of a personal or employment Google account and adding or toggling to their SGU account. This is the second part of the series of signing into your SGU Google account. After registering for an SGU class for the first time, you'll need to activate your Google account to gain access to the classes you've enrolled in. This video assistance is for users of a personal or employment Google account and adding your SDU Google account. Beginning at your desktop, you want to click on the Google Chrome icon. This will take you to your Google browser. Once at your browser, you want to go up to the upper right corner to see which account is activated by looking at the avatar that's up in the upper right corner. By clicking on that avatar, you may pan down and you can see other profiles and under other profiles is going to be maybe your personal Google account or your work account if you've added them. But what we're going to do is add your STU account. So you want to go down to plus add and it's going to ask you to sign in. Now remember at registration time you are given a SGU Google account so you need to sign in. You don't need to create a new account but you need to sign in to your SGU Google account. So go ahead and choose sign in and here it's going to ask you for your username or your Google account that was given to you at registration time. So you want to type that in. Once you type it in you want to hit next and now it's going to ask for your temporary password that also was given to you during registration time. Once you've typed that in, you want to choose next. And it says switch to existing Chrome profile or whatever. And then you can go ahead and choose switch. And you can see that it logged me in because my avatar has changed now. And remember this avatar is going to be your a circle with your initials. 
and it's going to indicate that you are logged into your SGU account. Now to toggle between accounts or to go from one account to the next, you want to go to that, that icon or the avatar now and click on it. And you can see here's your different accounts here under other profiles. You can click it to toggle between accounts. So you can see that taken me that's taken me to my personal Google account. Now I want to go back and this is my work Google account. And you can see the avatars change, so it indicates that I'm at a different account. So I'm toggled be I'm toggling between accounts. And so I can also go to um, my SCU account that I just started. And so I'm there. So now just remember to log into your Google Classrooms with the code that your teacher will send you. You need to be at your computer browser logged into your SCU Google account. This online video assistance covered signing into your SCU Google account. After registering for an SGU class for the first time, you will need to activate your Google account to gain access to the classes you've enrolled in. This video assistance covered the two ways to activate your SGU Google account. The first way was for first-time users of a Google account, and the second way was for users of a personal or employment Google account. Should you feel you need further assistance with signing into your SGU Google account, contact SGU's Distance Education Coordinator.